For those who know, and you can check. You mean something different, you know? So yeah. Then we give you time to give us. Uh... Hello, guys. Hi, guys. You're welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? As for me, I am fine. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to another another reaction video, guys. I'm so sorry for yesterday that the weekend roundup gist was not successful. I have to put out something on my community to show that I care, to show that, you know, I didn't neglect you guys. So that's why I have to put out something on my community. Something came up and, you know, weekly like this is always a busy day, busy week for me. I always steal, yes, I always steal for my time to make videos, to put out content on my channel, okay? In today's video, we are going to talk about a lot of people, but it's not going to be lengthy. We're going to talk about Okumo is here, Chris is here, Chris meet and greet is here. We're going to talk about Stevie and I think little of the plumber, you understand guys. So, please like this video, comment, share. If you are new here, my name is Ella Sutibo. For my OGs, thank you so much for your love and support. I do not take your love for granted, okay? Now, let's start with... Chris, Chris meet and greet, guys. Have you watched Chris meet and greet video? Hey, God. Anyway, I have watched Chris, Chris, the meet and greet. It was successful. You understand? It was nice. And then it was more like what Mara is also doing in the villa, bringing different people on his screen. They talk about, you know, talk about um, their channel name. Just put out their channel name, ask people to support them. So a whole lot of people turns turns out, you know, understand. A whole lot of people came out for that meet and greet. It was an open place. There was a whole lot of YouTubers there. And even some also admit that they knew Chris when he came to Nyabuhanze. I think my brother here give me a special shout out. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun meeting up with Uncle Mo doing this vlog <laughs> yeah. and this marketplace was kind of hectic, but this spot right here it calmed down a little bit and it was a great experience. Great experience. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was asked Chris. <laughs> Uncle Mo is number one in all of Nairobi for picking out the best egg laying chicken. <laughs> yeah. Man, nobody can beat his vlog. You know, you know me, I'm saying Uncle Mo for president. It's always an honor, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, my people. You are going to from yourself. <laughs> I'm also, yeah, definitely, yeah, you're a good person. Thank you. Bro, I appreciate uh, you. Have you seen the biggest, the biggest yeah. star in, in uh, Nairobi energy, there? Mr. Energy, Mr. Energy. I've not interacted with more from Kenya. Yeah, look. <laughs> Hi, Mo. Hi, I'm very happy to be with Chris, yeah. but please, uh -huh. invite these people to come here. Yeah, it's amazing. Very happy. Yeah. One of your fans and subscribers, yes. keep doing what you are doing, and may God bless you on your road to Congo. It's amazing, I'm not gonna go to Congo, they won't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, I tried to get oh, in. Oh, life is a journey to, to listen when they say we have a future to live, not a crowd to impress. We have, a, we have a goal to achieve, guys. Let's put a stop to this fake life. Inshallah, yeah. amen to that. <laughs> okay, cheers. But if anything negative happens, yeah. I was not the one that gave you the idea. It was 100% your fault. But I just think it would be pretty cool to have some little rocket. Okay. Okay, thank you so the much. <laughs> they had a dance off last night. <laughs> Why not? Finally, I'm very hungry. Yeah, you don't remember last night? You don't remember last night? I don't remember last night. And everybody's here? Yeah. I'm surprised he's... Oh, no, because no, Castle Blanca to me was too modern. I'm not going to... An now, another thing is that... Hmm, Okumo have overshadowed uh, Mawao in this relationship of a thing. Hey, <laughs> God. Like, the way Chris is vibing with Okumo, I don't know. I don't know what is happening, guys. These people are not saying anything, but their attitude tells a lot. In fact, Chris is more free with Onkumo. In fact, have you seen where Chris is hyping Onkumo? Calling Onkumo as the most amazing person 
calling Okumo as the biggest star in Nairobi. I can come here and bring clip and clip and clips of these things. I am not lying, guys. Hey, <laughs> have you watched their video? Is I see like their bond is more like Chris with Mawa. And Chris, I am wondering, like I'm surprised because this is Chris when Chris came and you need to mama her house we did not hear what if you don't appreciate people if you don't congratulate people for their achievement what else but you were just defending mama you understand so people will say oh mama is not trying mama is doing that so chris was just defending mama but all of a sudden like i don't i don't understand <laughs> this is the chris that came to the you know to mama house with so much passion z and everything what is now happening are they still friends the day that Chris was leaving Villa, Chris did not even tell Mawa. It was Mawa that was making a video that Mawa said, excuse me guys, Chris, you are leaving without telling me. Where are you going? You know, um, Chris told Mawa. And Mawa also mentioned in his video, you understand? So, I don't know, like the vibes or the, the bond between Chris and the Okumo, Omo, it cannot be compared to the bond that Chris with Mawa are sharing. So, right now, Chris, you know, uh, choose or uh, take Okumo to replace Mawa in the friendship. That's how I see it now. And in the other way, I'm very happy for Okumo to see somebody that actually loves him, appreciate him, somebody that wants to show him to the world. Chris replaced uh, Michel Ponte in the life of Okumo. You know, Okumo. Before I didn't know Okumo is this this uh, vibrant person, very free. You understand? So through Chris, I begin to see more of Okumo. That wow, Okumo is this this free. Okumo is very social. Okumo is very though. Chris said he used to be shy when when he sees a lot of people. But Okumo is very free with Chris than being free with Mama and the family. That's what I see. So maybe there's some things in Chris' mind that he's not spinning out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But if you know, you know. Like seriously, they don't need to come and tell us what and what. But from all that we are seeing, <laughs> okay. Oh, mm. So let's talk about um, Steve. This Steve guy is the internet guy, right? This Steve guy was in in the uh, in Mama party. In fact, it was in, he was in the villa all this while. But I saw a video that titled it, Why I Left Mawa. You understand? So when I watched that video, I was thinking maybe he's going to go straight to the point to tell us this and this and this what happened. He didn't say it. So was that video a clickbait or to draw people's attention? But there's something he said in that video, but I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know if it was necessary for him to say, but I'm not here to control anybody. Same way you cannot control me on my channel. He said that all the videos he's be uploading, that it is not new, that he has uploaded or he has done those videos like weeks back, that he has left Mawa house long ago. So all these videos that you are seeing right now, don't think that maybe he's still in the villa or he did it with Mawa, that he has left the villa long ago. So what does that tell us? Are they fighting? Steve, are they quarreling? Let me tell you guys one thing. It's just that some of you, you just want to keep deceiving yourself. Anything anybody is doing is two things involved. What I do, I do it with passion and do the money. You understand? People do things because of one, because of passion, they have passion for that thing, and two, because of money. You understand? Because uh, uh, you know, for the outcome of or the end result of that effort, any effort that somebody is putting something and there is no End result, there is no income. That person will see it as a wasted result or a wasted effort. I mean, and at the end of the day, it will not last long. Why am I saying this? I'm also going to say this to other people I want to talk about. Is this type of, of a guy? All the work he's doing there, he's doing it for free. Initially, when they come, they come as if oh, they love mama so much. This thing that they are doing, oh, is 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 volunteer and all that. But along the way. They get fed up easily because assuming there was money involved, they will keep doing. And and also Mawa have also replaced Chris. I mean, excuse me. Mawa has also, also replaced Stevie to another guy who is doing the same work that Stevie was doing in the villa. 
And now, right now, I don't even know if this new guy, of course, I think this new guy that Noah brought or that is going to replace Steve, I don't think it's for payment as well. I think it's also for free. And also, I think that kind of a thing, the person that started that job should be the one to continue it, not another person. You understand? So, if Steve feel that, okay, money should be involved, you should get payment, why did he tell Mawa? This is the two-faced I keep talking about. All of you will feel as if all is well, but you are not, you are not content, you are, you, are, you are not feeling fine. <laughs> you are suffering as money. In that video, even if he did not come out to say, do that, 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 that is why I left Mawa. But he said in the title why I left Mawa, and he said he had left a long time ago. So all the videos, all the upload that we have been seeing now, it is not... He is not in the villa. He has left long ago. And he also promised that we will start seeing his own videos, like... The conservation area, that is one. That's for tomorrow. Number two, I'm going to visit one of the remaining indigenous communities in Africa. The Wazabe. The Wazabe people. These guys, uh, for those who know, and you can check the, the videos uh, in YouTube, Internet guy and also CCTV guy. Another one for CCTV is yeah. not here. I will pay him. And uh, that being said, guys, I want to say thank you so much. Steve. With all the struggles, things like this. Yeah, that one is for emergency. <laughs> emergency. Please ask why. Christmas list. Has to work. work. Yeah, so if, you know, I, I feel bad when uh, someone has no internet. And this I'm here, it's something like that. It's not only Steve you uh, but it's like Steve you right want to build his own audience. He wants to be he bringing out his own content that depending only the content that comes from the villa. You understand? A whole lot of these people, they are already fed up. A lot is happening. You understand? But they cannot say. But they are showing you their attitude. And I ask myself why. Especially the fact that they have all gained from the VVIP. I want to quickly talk about this uh, plumber guy and then I want to read some comments, you know, that before I will, you know, going to some issues here. Now, this person said, God bless you, strong man. You will go far. Thanks for loving Mawa unconditionally and all support you gave to him. We will continue to support you here, okay? Ignore those naysayers. My sister, shut up your mouth. You know, now you are the talk to, yes. I'm talking to you. Shut up your mouth. I want to let you know that those days here you are talking about are actually this mama plumber is the one giving them what to say. This mama plumber is the one feeding them what to say. Because if you watch this mama plumber, let's start with the one when he, he was in Mama live stream. Mama asked him, "This one you, you are befriending your face all this while. What is happening?" And you can see that the guy is the guy is stressed out. And not just stressed out; he's tired and maybe angry or maybe he hasn't eaten or one thing or the other so he was trying to explain to mawa everything and when immediately he mentioned engineer mama said no don't call his name you know he will not be happy about it i want to ask is engineer excluded in all this that is happening why is it that engineer name will not be mentioned why is mama afraid of the engineer so he alone should be taking all the stress all the blame or all the everything Meanwhile, the engineer don't want to be involved, don't want to take responsibility of the actions or some actions happening either regarding to the beauty or the uh, uh, things that are being faulty or thing, the, every other thing. You understand? Now, if you go to or you watch some other videos, some other videos of this plumber, he's the one spilling things that is making people to feel, okay, this guy is not satisfied. Okay, this guy is not happy. Those naysayers will not be talking if this plumber guy is not saying one thing in front of Mawa and in our side or in another video, he's also saying the other thing. So you see, at the end of the day, people are either judging from the words that are coming from people's mouths. Maybe they are going to hype it, like kind of hype it a little bit, make look as if, oh, it's that loud. But people are judging from what is coming out from these people's mouths. And sometimes from their title, and sometimes from their body expression, and sometimes from the comments that are there. I don't know if you understand, guys. So, those naysayers that are talking about this plumber, guys, is this plumber 
that is implicating himself and also implicating Mawa. I want to read this comment. Hi, strong man. I support Mawa and everyone in the villa. But if you were my brother, I would tell you that you have done enough work to support the villa. The work was beyond what you imagined. Everyone appreciate and thank you for what you did. You can go back home and visit your family. Do your vlog there like Steve does. And this TV is the guy I just talked about <laughs> last now. You understand? So it's obvious that Steve and the, uh, Mawa, they are no longer together. God bless you. Please go home and visit your family. Mama will do just fine and can get someone else to continue the job. Now, this other person said, Hello, strong man. As soon as you let Mama pay you cash for your hard work, I will subscribe. So it's obvious that this person have not subscribed because this person feel that Mama have not paid him or he's fully... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know because some people, they will still reason with the anyash. You have a family doing all this damn work for a shout out. Mama collected all the GoPro. You should have received one for sure. Him and his woman is collecting while you fix their plumber work. There's something he said the F U F up okay F up plumber work. Your wife could not be pleased. Speaking as a woman, you have a talent that will surpass a damn shout out. Baba is clever. He keeps asking about money on his camera. His followers support his side. Get paid in cash. So this person is actually talking about Mama always asking this guy, have they paid you? How many is your so you know Mama do that? You ask you, how many subscribers do you have now? Have they paid you? How is your channel doing? You understand? And maybe because of a camera, this guy cannot express himself. So people don't see that ah, the plumber guy is no more happy. But if you go to another video, he starts, you know, saying his mind. Now somebody encountered that comment, and this that person said, guy. This guy is comfortable. Nobody talks about the monetary gifts he has received and marketing he has received. Nobody knew him before Mama introduced him. What if he stayed at Mobasa? He could get jobs, but at the moment he has elevated himself. He gets big and better opportunities when he visited Mama, had the plumber already. If this opportunity is to market himself, he had made chance. To ask for payment when the main plumber left. Even at the moment, he can still ask for payment, meaning he knows what he's doing. So people talk about like this comment. This person is talking about this guy is receiving monetary gifts and some other gifts. Now I want to ask why is it that this plumber is not talking about oh other people are gifting him? Because as far as I am concerned, guys, this plumber is the one implicating himself as well implicating Mawa. This plumber is the reason why people are insulated or all those people you call they say us, say us, they have what to say. If this guy is receiving all the monetary payments and blah blah, why is he not saying it? Why is he not talking about it? I saw a video. I saw a video he did. He was talking about you know um, how much he paid for his children fee and everything that his children go to private schools. So at the end of the day, <laughs> this Mawa plumber is two faced. Yes, as well as many others. A lot of people are talking about that um, Mawa does not show everything on camera. Mawa do pay him. And I asked, this is the same mama who came on camera to ask for oil, <laughs> missing oil. What else he cannot show on camera? Now, quickly, I want to talk about this mama girlfriend who said that mama is not the only black guy that she updated. Mama is not the only African guy she updated. I'm going to play the clip. I just want to ask a simple question. Because in my last video, I said I'm not liking her. I see that she's not becoming more open. She's now she's now becoming more free than before. But see this video, I want to ask what is the probability that this girl is going to marry Mawa? Why is it that all these black guys she have met before now she did not settle with down with them? Why did she leave them? Is it uh, is it like a flatter getting married to a flatter? 
because mama have been changing girls white girls this girl has also be changing black boys so what is the probability that this girl is going to stay with Mawa? Who is the probability that this girl is not going to also leave Mawa like one of those regular black guys? She have said. And why is she so bold and confident to talk about her body count? Like uh, Mawa is not the only guy I've dated. You understand? And, I, and then again, this girl, this girl, this girl, this girl a street girl. And then again. These girls keep talking about oh the blessings that keep coming every day, the, the you know the gifts and all that. Is she really is she really married Mawa or going to stay with Mawa because she thinks that these blessings because after the party, all these gifts will not be coming like again. Oh, it's not like if you get married to Mawa, this is how every day of your life is going to be. That people are going to bring in gifts, people are going to bring in blessings, as you say. So she speak more of the blessings that she keep receiving, more of the gifts that she keep that she keep receiving, than speaking more of loving mama. She be in love. So is it that this lady is is going to stay with mama for who he is? Because mama needs somebody that is going to love him for who he is, or is it because of the gifts, the blessings that she's going to receive? And then again, talking about the parents, I want to let you guys know that white parents or these people their parents they have a lot of say when it comes to an interracial couple interracial marriage a whole lot of them they don't agree so at the end of the day i don't know i don't know for this girl though i begin to like her because she's begin like i begin to convince like 50 percent convinced that okay but see this other video i don't know <laughs> Uh, so I must confess that Maro is not the first African that I've dated. <laughs> I yes, um, I feel like I always had this had, had attraction for like black men, right? Yeah, yeah. But I was never expecting a Kenyan one. I was never expecting Maro. <laughs> um, but I really like it. I really like it. I feel like um, something magical in my connection with him. And. And what else about the question? Maybe any challenges you've experienced? So yeah, I feel like the same as 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 Lynn, you know. And in terms of communication, sometimes even we are not even speaking our mother language. You know, we are both using a, a language in common, but it's not my mother language. It's, it's not Marwa's mother language. So even sometimes you try to communicate something, you mean something different. You know, so sometimes it can be confusing. Sometimes it can be confusing um, for to understand each other, and for now also I'm, I'm still I'm still learning because I just arrived here, so it's it's quite a lot. I, also, the fact that Marwa is a very public figure, yes. you know, it's very difficult. And even though like I, I am a singer and I I was I was I'm in the beginning of my public life, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess also that's gonna bring challenges, you know, to face. But it's also like beautiful to to get to know each other. I, I think the same. It takes longer, you know. You have to be patient. You have to have compassion and try to understand. Put yourself in the other shoes, you know. Um, and yeah, take a breath, you know. Take it slow because. Sometimes you don't understand each other at the right moment, but you know sometimes you just need to okay slow down, think a little, and say oh well yeah maybe he's right. It's just you know sometimes we can get offended or things like that for something that you say, and because of our different cultures, we think and we express different. Yeah. So you guys should just drop your video. What is the probability? I'm more need to believe in itself. Don't say that, say, oh, yeah, I'm too, this girl is too good for me. No, say that you are too good for this girl. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are busy. You guys are wonderful. You guys are everything I have. <laughs> Thank you guys. Please like this video, subscribe. Everything I've said, drop your opinion, okay? Don't worry. If this, this video did not favor you, don't worry, that's why I will favor you. <laughs> Thank you guys, I really appreciate you. See you in my next video. Ciao, bye.